Community Music Service and this is a short video to help you to try and tune your cello if you're getting ready to do some playing. Now you won't have had a lesson for quite a long time and normally of course your teacher would do the tuning of the instrument um, but some of you might feel that your strings have gone a little bit out of tune and you might feel you can have a go at doing this yourself. Uh, whatever you do, do it slowly and very carefully and don't worry if you can't get it in tune because cellos can be a bit tricky. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is play the, um, the strings on the cello in order, in, in the proper note that they should be so you can hear the tuning. Uh, we're going to start with the A, which is the highest string, and the D. cello we have two ways of tuning the instrument. Uh, we've got the pegs at the top and if it's if the strings are quite a lot out of tune then uh, we have to try and settle the pegs uh, which is quite a hard work sometimes. Um, hopefully yours is at, your strings are only a little bit out of tune and if they're only a little bit out we can use the these metal screws at down at the other end of the strings uh, which are called adjusters. Now I'm just going to pluck my a again, that's still okay, D still okay, now that doesn't quite sound right, that's a little bit too low and if you can hear that your string is a little bit low then all you need to do is get that, make sure you've matched up the right adjuster with that string and if the sound is too low you need to turn the screw clockwise. So I'm going to turn that while I'm plugging and you'll hear the sounds going higher, just keep moving it slowly. Check the others again. That's still a bit low. Sounds all creep upwards. Move there. There. Now I know that that is the sound that matches with the other strings. Um, you might not be so sure, so uh, what might be a very good idea for you to use is a tuning app which are quite freely available on any devices that you might have um, and that will actually give you the set note, it will play the note for you so that you can hear that more easily when you're trying to tune. If you've played your um, string on the uh, tuning app, for example uh, D, D should sound like that. Now if I play my D, hmm, it's a little bit too high. So we're going to use the adjuster again and go the other way anti-clockwise to make the sound a little bit lower. trying to use the adjusters uh, when there's that bigger gap in the sound but we're going to have to use the pegs. Now for this um, you might probably want to get an adult to help you really because you do need to be quite strong uh, to turn these pegs and and you need probably another pair of hands to help hold the cello so it doesn't crash on the floor. Uh, what I'm going to do is hold this peg, you can put this, it's probably easier if you put the spike in as well at this point um, I'm more used to doing this, so I'm going to see if I can do this without doing that. You need to grip the peg very firmly, and when you press it inwards, you need to turn it clockwise, but press inwards at the same time, otherwise um, the pegs will probably slip, and then it will go even looser than it was before. So, I'm going to that, see if I can... Whatever you do, it very, very slowly, and you might hear lots of creaks. Um, when you're getting very near 
close to the notes, you could actually go back to the adjusto and finish it off with that. strings have gone very loose um, over the last few months uh, it could be that the bridge has actually gone loose as well and even fallen down if that happens um, really that needs a teacher to sort it out so we can sort that out for you if you need any more help with tuning uh, Mrs Barrett has done a very good tuning video and um, it's mainly for violin and viola but it's got some pretty handy tips in there as well have fun and good luck. Thank you.